You must be kicked out of the stadium. Yeah, they're getting kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks for them. I hope you're recording. So your mum's just been kicked out of the venue. Yeah, I guess. Your mum's just gotten beaten up by a security guard. I don't know. <laughs> Is that they're clearing out the stadium? <laughs> your mum's just been tackled down the stairs by a security guard. Hello, welcome to a Ruddy Esports interview. I'm here with uh, Mickey X. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hello. No. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine, you're so fine, you blow my mind. Hello, Jake. Hey, Mickey. Let's proceed. I don't know the song. It's Hey, Mickey. How have you not oh, heard that okay, song? No, no. Yeah, no, wonderful. Uh, lovely to speak with you, mate. Uh, congratulations on winning again. It's a bit boring, really, isn't it? You sort of just win every time. Um, yeah. It's all right, and it went in, I guess. Well, how does it feel to just sort of, no matter how badly you play, it's always going to mean that someone else's dreams are taken away from them? That's a very good question, probably because I'm playing the support role. So it doesn't really matter what I do in the end. If I have the better team, we're probably going to win. It's kind of similar to Genji. They're kind of the same. <laughs> so you're the same as Genji, is what you're saying? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> like I was watching some of the games, and Lehan just gets caught, and then his team just wins 45 because they use ult on him and shit. It's kind of similar vibes. Yeah. And he, was, he said that he like took a lot of inspiration from me. So, you know, it makes sense. Did he, he did say that, didn't he? <laughs> Apparently, I didn't watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, for me, why does he take inspiration from you? Because it's, 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 there's sort of nothing there. There's nothing to really be inspired by. That's a very fair point. But I think he just wants a bit of a challenge for himself because otherwise his, re his region is like way too easy. So I think it's a good thing because the more challenges they have, the more they have to actually stay on top of their game and work hard so they don't get complacent. So I think that's what oh, Wonderful. And uh, I mean, you've had a bit of a dip in form at times. You were really good at Worlds last year coming into it. And then since then, a bit of shit this year, to be honest. You've been a bit shit. In your opinion? No, <laughs> sort of, I think objectively, and I think I represent, I think the good thing about me as an interviewer is I think I speak for everyone. It's a good thing about me, I think I speak for that's just you. everyone. <laughs> Why have you been so bad? We said everyone, I think it didn't include my mom because she thinks I played very well, in just in case you're wondering. Yeah, but your mum's a, your mom's a fraud. No, she's not. She's, a, she's an idiot. I think she's probably higher than you. Like, honestly. I don't think so <laughs> at all because, you know, currently sitting at Emerald 1, you know, a couple hundred games played, but that's not the point. Don't think your mum knows how to use a mouse and keyboard. I mean, I've seen her. She's not dexterous in that way. I mean, I don't think she has the ability to... So, you know, without being rude to her, I think she's a fraud. I think she doesn't know what she's talking about. And I think she should, you know, keep her mouth shut, to be honest, in regards to the game. Fair enough. So, yeah, besides her, then, everyone thinks that it's been a bit of a bad year. I can somewhat see that. I think I didn't have the greatest start. Yeah. But then again, I think those are... Do you not think, because <laughs> everyone from your village is sort of currently now either, you know, delivering Amazon packages or, you know... I don't think we have Amazon. <laughs> Well, they're working in some sort of factory. I was being nice, to be fair. <laughs> the idea that they've maybe brought that to your torrid little third world uh, little village. But, you know, all the people that you went to school with have, have faced a fate of, you know, working in the, in the fields and stuff like this. You're, you're lucky to get paid so much money to play video games. Why do you feel like it's acceptable to, to have such drops in form? I don't know why. Do you I, want I, to go back to the fields? I don't think it's actually acceptable. And, yeah, I think that's kind of my thing. I'm not sure why I just like called out like that because it was kind of supposed to be low-key. But yeah, I think working in the fields was one of my dreams. So I really want to go and do that. Well, you don't do much farming on support though. <laughs> yeah. Not much playing center. <laughs> it's true. That's why I want to do it. <laughs> Actually, back in the day, you know, I was working on some farms. Were you? What were you doing on the farms? I mean, just picking up like, either, either picking up the potatoes or just like, you know, because usually you have tractors to like um, move the the land but sometimes you, do, you have to do it with the what's it rake ho ho that one <laughs> shout out to minecraft <laughs> that one yeah so i was doing that some sometimes yeah and uh, that was not fun <laughs> that was really boring some of you will spend the whole diamond on these hoes so minecraft yeah. reference that's yeah, crazy that's a good one um i had another question there but you've, you've sort of sorry just you, i just want to remind you you sort of you don't have any sort of technical skills don't? No, I don't think so. What, how do you know where the mic needs to be? I don't know. I've like got a cameraman behind the camera that I don't pay to be here. Mm -hmm. So I, I do pay him, I mean, right. but he knows what he's doing and he will tell me if he needs to. I just. Can you just tell him? 
<laughs> don't stop. Please don't break the fourth wall and interact with people behind the camera. <laughs> so, uh, God, what was I going to fucking ask you? You've broken my train of thought here. Because you've decided to just reveal that you were a farmer. I don't know. It's a great interview. So why, what, do you, like what do you mean you're a fucking farmer? It's just come out of nowhere. Like, I don't know, you kind of you brought it up, so I just had to like confirm that you know it's not something new for me. It's like, I've been there, I've done that. Right, I mean, it's just, <laughs> this is what happens when you just let all these sort of impoverished uh, orphans into the <laughs> end. <laughs> from all these, all these different backgrounds, you just get farmers. <laughs> <laughs> Children of war. <laughs> They're all welcome in the LEC. Um, you predicted that today would be a clean 3-0, but obviously you lost the game. Does this arrogance come from years of narcissism, material wealth, and sort of just chasing the, the lifestyle? It could be, but I think mostly it's just in caps. Like, he just kind of grifted with the Yasuo pick and Navori first item. Like, that was just true. He got solo killed by a player who... I think looks like Napoleon Dynamite without an afro. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. if you didn't know a little lore like behind Frescovi, one time in solo kill he played Lucian into Vi Vladimir and he got solo killed level three, just saying. By you? So, by me. By my Vladimir. Which is a very hard matchup to Vladimir, but I did it, you know, you know me. Yeah. Uh, so I was surprised that Caps fell short to uh, to Frescovi, yeah. It's not good enough, is it? I mean and he's been just, it's not good because he's just been voted the MVP. Yeah, I think he got way too, like, big for his boots. Yeah. Do you know what size shoes he wears? I think it's around 41. 41. Is that big? I don't know. I have 42. 42. You've got bigger feet than him? I think so. Wow. What does that say? That I have bigger shoes. <laughs> Heavier the shoes that fit the crown, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good little analogy there. <laughs> Are you excited for um for Worlds now? I mean, you're going to go as the first seed. Do you? Aren't you? I don't fuck. I don't fucking know either. <laughs> Isn't this, the, the draw is? I think the draw is now. The draw. The draw for Worlds. I'm pretty sure it's now. I think it is. But there's not even. Team no, no, no. It's, it's after tomorrow. I think. I just remember we've got a final to play tomorrow. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, the final. That's fanatic. Yeah, fucking, I mean, this fucking fanatic. Who cares, mate? Honestly. Yeah. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. I guess it's a plane drop. Bit, yeah. No, maybe, yeah. Fucking, who cares, mate? Fucking Brazilian teams. Oh, Can't give a toss, mate, honestly. Good research. Huh? Good research. <laughs> Can't be fucked, mate, honestly. <laughs> Go on the broadcast. Can't understand the fucking word. <laughs> what research am I meant to do, mate? Can't, can't speak the bloody language, can I? So... <laughs> So you're going to go to Worlds, probably as the first or second seed. Um, do you feel like, do you feel shame? You know, are you going to let down a whole nation of people, a whole millions of people? Are, are you are you looking forward to letting them down again? Mm, not really. I think this time we're kind of probably just going to win because, like, last time we kind of wanted to give T1 the last dance because yeah. they said it was the last time together. So like, we gave them like, sure, bro, go ahead. But in this time. They kind of had their their fun, I think. That but this fun. is like what my dad kept saying to me when he kept saying he was going to be more present in my life. He just kept saying, sort of, you know, this is the time, you know, we're going to really build something here. And I'm seeing a lot of parallels between you and him. It's just a lot of sort of empty promises. Um, you've got about as much follow up as a severely constipated person. Um, so where's the follow through going to come through? Come from. Uh, <laughs> That's a good one. But, yeah, thank uh, you. On the fly as well. <laughs> no quest. Um, well, the follow-up is going to come through the world because, you know, Worlds is in Europe and on our home turf. We did pretty well last time around. And we also saved a lot of strategies from last Worlds because we didn't actually go very far. So we could save a lot of strategies that didn't actually get changed in the game. So now it's time to pull them out. I've been thinking, because last time Worlds came to EU, there was a big program of EUS solo queue players that were just in all of the Chinese and Korean players to sort of generate a mental advantage. Um, without getting yourself into too much trouble, are you an advocate of methods like this? Sort of guerrilla warfare? Yeah, as long as they don't do it to me as well. Because right now they're doing it to me for like the whole year and it's not really been very nice. But if they sh share the, the warfare, I guess. So can you, do, you know that Uncle Sam poster that's like, we need you? We need you. Can you do like an Uncle Rise message to people in solo queue for when Worlds comes to Europe? Keep doing what you're doing, we need you. No, don't keep doing what you're doing, because you don't... 
because they're, they're running you down. Yeah, but just like keep it up for like, you know, everyone else. You're not so very good at this. I mean, it's just, you're not very good and it's a good job that you're not in charge of any sort of nation that is wedging war in the world because I don't think anyone can get behind this. Yeah, are you, are you the primary shot caller on G2? No. As you can see, we're winning games. <laughs> What do, you, what do you sort of say during the game? So you sort of just saying, oh, good job, guys. Really, done. That was really good, BB. Nice one, mate. Usually I say, like, I'm dead. Um, <laughs> no, flash. <laughs> no flash, this guy. <laughs> That's kind of my thing. Um, yeah, oh, they get Nash. Or maybe they can end here. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Really, it's my so you're just... I hate to use this phrase, but it's sort of a passenger princess in some ways. <laughs> yeah, you can say that, yeah. yeah it's just sort of I think along <laughs> for the ride, really. <laughs> the, being a fraud runs in the family. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So your dad, your dad was a security guard and your mum's a school teacher. Yeah. It's a Where did they meet? Good question. I don't know, but they were not... I mean, I guess my mum... school was, was that dangerous, it needed security. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but my dad was not... A security guard at the time. I think at the time he was just working at some computer firm or something like this. My mom just a math teacher. I think your dad works for the CIA, mate. He's, saying he's a security <laughs> guard, he's at a computer <laughs> firm. Is your dad Jason Bourne? <laughs> it could be, yeah. He has had a main job, firefighter, security he's guard. He's been a firefighter as well. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Do you not feel like when you say these sort of things that your dad's ultimately a lot more impressive than you? I, I should really be talking to him yeah, right now. I mean, I could bring him up here. Like, he's yeah. probably waiting outside, yeah. Does he speak English? No. <laughs> right, that's going to present... He, he can try. Like, back in the day when I was, you know, very young, he was translated for, to, for me. But nowadays it's like, he knows some computer terms, but not so much. Well, when you say computer terms, what, what kind of stuff? I don't know, like when you download something, you're right. Save, oh, download. Yeah, stuff like this, yeah. yeah. Pretty Wonderful. Much. But for talking... That's going to be a productive I mean, conversation. He can, well, no, but he, can, he can make like some normal sentences, but just have to be aware that his English is very broken and like his accent is very funny. So, yeah. Yeah. Could you mimic his accent? What does he sound like? No, just like every other like Eastern European when they speak English, except me, because yeah. I don't have an accent. But if you think of like Polish, maybe Yankos. Do you, do you think that you're better than them because you don't have an accent? Yeah, probably. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's just like, I guess, yeah, I don't know why I don't have an accent. Maybe I just copy other people. That so how did you learning. learn English? Did you watch a lot of shows or stuff yeah, like that? I, so. I just played. What, what kind of stuff are you watching when you when you learn English? That's a good question. I don't even remember. I just remember I played a lot. I think of due to your lack of humor and just sort of how unfunny you are, maybe like Big Bang Theory or something like that. No, not really. I watch that. I didn't. No. Actually, the only show I remember watching very often when I came back from school was, what the fuck was it? <laughs> you know, Al Bundy? Al Bundy? Fuck, that was Isn't like... he a serial killer? No, that's Ted Bundy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, watching Ted Bundy uh, interviews as I learn English. Fuck, what was the show called? Something with family. Whatever, I forgot. Family guy? <laughs> no, wait, I'll Google it. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, he's going to Google it. You found it, yeah? Yeah, I found it. Mary the Children. Married with Children, that's the show I watched. Married with Children? Yeah. Isn't that the one? What the fuck is that? I don't know, it was like a TV show. It was like comedy. Is that of. the one that's got the theme song that's like, love and marriage, love and marriage, oh, go together like a horse and care. It's like a Frank Sinatra yeah, I song. So. I think so. Yeah, I know I think about you might that. be onto something. Yeah. I just know that. <laughs> Are you replying to your Discord messages no, during just, our interview? He's this. literally just gone onto, I've just seen on his phone, he's gone onto Discord. <laughs> And started replying to his yeah, right, DMs. There's a, there's a gif I use a lot from the guy. This one. <laughs> you know this guy? Yeah. Yeah, that's from Married with Children. Why has he got a noose around his neck? <laughs> that's his tie. <laughs> you really, you know, you've done a lot to kind of untangle years of building a nice boy image. And in about 10 minutes, you've, you've ruined it. So what do you have to say to the fans now? I don't know. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> anyway. It's been lovely speaking to you as always. Do you have any uh, messages to anyone, any people out there? Any people that might be struggling or going through some stuff? I hope you can get through it. Yeah. You can do well, it. Wow, you fucking... <laughs> bet they're convinced now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good, a good one, man. Oh, my God. Always a pleasure, man. Sorry, sorry. I love the far away.